Matthew Versti here with iAutomate's Image Geotagger, and I'm going to give you just a few little tips and tricks and just show you a couple of handy things that you can do. So if you watched the last video, we showed you how to actually change all the data and push it over live to the photos and save them. And as I mentioned, the photos get saved on top of wherever you originally pulled them from. So let's go to some photos that we just saved here. Okay. Now, if we go to these photos, you'll see, uh, I didn't do all of them, I did like four of the six, but what you can do is if you highlight over this photo and you go to properties, so if you right click, go to properties, and then details, you're gonna see that title and subject are exactly what we put in there. We only did one tag and that's there. Our comments are there, our, our website is there, and my favorite part here is this proper GPS data with latitude and longitude all specially separated out, okay? So instead of just putting your latitude and longitude in your comments or in another you know, section of your image, you can properly tag it uh, with the coordinates just like that. So if you like putting it in the comments, you can put it in the comments as well by dragging it over there, but uh, this way is, is the best way. So. Uh, we can back out of that and let's go back over to the program. So a couple more little tips and tricks. Uh, I'll review this little template section again since that's really key is basically, we'll just clear this out, your template section every time you load the program will just stay there. In fact, all your data will stay here uh, even if you close the program. So when you come back, uh, you can hit clear all and clear everything, uh, but I like to keep this template section in place because it makes life really easy if you're tagging a lot of photos. Typically my clients have 10, 20 photos or more to upload to their Google My Business uh, or to their citations. And so I really like to uh, you know, have this template in place because it saves a lot of time. So as a refresher, you can come up here and select that separator. When you select that separator, notice it changes in this permutations box. And then by clicking and dragging that, right, you can then populate those fields how you want them. And then by clicking this, it sends it over. So whatever you have here for a separator, when you push it over, that's what's going to be staged for your image. And then when you click apply, it's going to appear on the images over here and you'll need to save them to actually overwrite them. So one more section here is the formatter section. And this is just probably a feature you won't likely use, uh, but if you have the need for it, it's handy. What it does is anything you drag into one of these boxes will format it according to what it will do. So uppercase, if I drag anything over to uppercase, it's gonna make it all caps. If I drag anything over to lowercase, it's gonna make it all lowercase. And if I do title case, it's going to put it in title case. So kind of handy if you like doing things all caps or you like doing all things lowercase. It's an easy way that you can handle that. Uh, and then, you know, this can be dragged into other sections, etc. if you want. So that's just another little option for your staging area. Again, everything is configurable. So if you're one of those people that likes to put coordinates in your, uh, in your comments section, you could fill in your geo coordinates here by typing those in, and then you would click the checkbox for coordinates, and then they would be here, okay? So... It's totally configurable. However you want to use this, you can. Uh, I gave you an example with a local business, but if you were doing video thumbnails or just image ranking, you can apply the same principles. You probably will just not use all of the, the business information necessarily, although you could if it was still for, uh, let's say, a client. But you'd probably more so use the category and keywords here, and you could put both of them in a permutator like so. So like if you wanted to do like mixing and matching keywords, you just select those two and then you know you get your variations here. Obviously with only two keywords you only have two variations. But you know you can play with those or you can even use other fields like you would a keyword field. If you wanted to do three word combinations or something, you could put a keyword here if you wanted. You know you could say keyword two and by checking that zip, boom, you know, now you get like all these other combinations of words. Okay, so it's got a lot of really cool applications. We built this primarily for our local SEO agency, 
And so that's mainly what we use it for. So if you have any questions, you can always uh, send us a message. Um, you can always just click right here on our support link, uh, need support, that will take you right over to our help desk and we can help you out with any questions that you may have. Uh, and so there you have it. Uh, I hope you really enjoy it. We put a lot of work into this and it's a huge time saver. So please use it and reap the benefits. All right, Matthew Verstig here with iAutomate. You'll want to keep in touch with us as we come out with more unique tools to automate and systemize your business. Talk to you later.